Welcome to Touch Edit's tutorial series. Paperclip mode is Touch Edit's notation system. These are often called markers or locators in other NLEs. To go into paperclip mode, tap the paperclip icon. The basic edit gestures cannot be done while in paperclip mode. However, the scissors do work. To add a paperclip, tap the plus button. This can be done in pause or play, and you can add multiple paper clips while playing down your clip or sequence. Paper clips can be used as a visual reminder of a moment on your clip or sequence, and to type in detailed notes about those moments. Double tap on a paper clip to open the text window and type in the text you wish to use. If your iPad supports it, you can tap the mic button on the keyboard to voice translate a note. Tap save when you are done. On your left is the quick menu showing all of your paper clips for that clip or sequence and where they are located. Double tap on one to jump to that paper clip and open the text menu. Use go to and previous to jump to adjacent paper clips. If for some reason your paper clips aren't showing, tap and hold the plus button to refresh your paper clips. If you wish to remove all of your paper clips, tap and hold the paper clip button. Paper clips do follow when you cut them into a sequence. Remember to save your sequence if you wish to keep your paper clips for later. Currently, source side paper clips cannot be saved, so if you wish to keep them, edit them into a sequence and save.